welcome back. So today's video is going to be me decorating for fall and also shopping at Rite Aid and the dollar store and Walgreens and having you come along with me and getting a few things that I needed that I don't already have. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my videos that I post. I have been uploading every Tuesday and I'll also be doing a giveaway if we reach 200 subscribers. Stay tuned for that if we get there. And without further ado, come shop with me and watch me decorate. He's putting his arm up and I'm putting it down. You okay? I tried to wait till he was done playing with his toy, but he just keeps playing with it, so y'all are just gonna hear his toy in the background. So we just had breakfast at my grandparents. My parents were in town for a couple days because it was my dad's high school reunion. Now we're just gonna go to Rite Aid. I know that sounds weird to be getting the stuff we're gonna get, but we're gonna go to Rite Aid because sometimes like they have 50% off holiday stuff. Like when it's Halloween time, everything's 50% off for Halloween or fall stuff. Same as for Christmas. So we're gonna go there because I really want to get a centerpiece for my table, my kitchen table. And then what else did I want to get? And then I just want to go to the dollar store and see what they have fall wise as well. So we're going to take y'all along with us. Are you coming in or not? No. Well, I don't want to wake him up. All right, well, it looks like I'm going in all alone. I don't know how much longer I can film if I get something because I'm not gonna have any hands. So let's just go into Rite Aid and see what we can find. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, how do you shut this thing off? It's already annoying. Okay. Can you put a candle in it? Oh my god. Still sleeping. Okay, we're gonna go to the dollar store now. Um, let's celebrate Halloween first, people. Come on. Losing myself in the endless memories of the end right from the start. You're an obsession in my head, I can forget your eyes. Your kiss and spray, my skin, I feel so empty inside. home I'll show y'all what I got because it's just there's just not enough room in this damn car for everything the one thing I didn't find I found in Rite Aid but I didn't really like the way it looked was a table runner I really need a table runner for our table there was some tablecloths with like leaves on it but that's way too extra for me I just want something orange or fall color to you know go on the table our kitchen table so we're gonna go to Walgreens really quick and by the way the town that we're in y'all there's no mall okay so we didn't go to the town that's further away so that's why I'm going to all these drug stores for these for this stuff so we're going to Walgreens
the first. I think I want to put some nails on today. I'm in the mood. From the start, you're an obsession. All right, we're home and I'm gonna show you what we got. Okay, these, oh, <laughs> I got this for Easton at Walgreens. I couldn't resist, little eyeball, and if it balances, it lights up, okay. So these are the salt and pepper shakers I was telling y'all about that, Oakley, that I got at a garage sale. Got them as a set for five bucks. My mother-in-law never let me hear the end of it, and she said I should have talked them down to three. <laughs> Anyways, so I got this at Rite Aid. It was $12.99, but it was 50% it was off, so I believe it, I didn't get a receipt. He asked if I wanted one, I said no. I'm such a dumbass. Yeah, 50% off, $12.99. So I think that this thing is like what six bucks seven bucks figured that can go with this I guess we'll find out when I decorate also at Rite Aid. I got this we already have a welcome sign But we have had the same one for like the past six years. So I feel like there's no light up in here It's raining today y'all so there is no light so it looks like so 50% off $9.99 So I got it for five bucks mm -hmm. And then we got this little boy wearing the table runner. So this is not a new table runner. It is one that we already have. <laughs> so I figured, I <laughs> peekaboo. So I figured the white pumpkins will fit well on it. And I also got this at Rite Aid. It's a fall blanket. It's got a fall leaf on it. A velvet throw. I wouldn't have got it if it wasn't 50% off, but I can't resist when stuff's half off. So got it for 10 bucks. It's originally $19.99. So at the dollar store, we got this. It's a dollar. Duh. And then we got this. I don't know. I couldn't resist. I like the glittery football. I don't know. I, I like it. And then we also got this. We have a dead ass tree in the front yard that my landlord has promised that he's going to take down and he hasn't done it. So why not hang these on the dead tree? Looks spooky. Looks a little hand. <laughs> and also a pumpkin one. I'll decorate for Halloween on a different day. I feel like this is just decorating for fall. So if y'all want a Halloween decorative video, let me know because we do usually borrow stuff from our in-laws. They have lights, they have all this old stuff they used to use. So let me know if y'all want to see a Halloween decoration outside and stuff like that. All the rest of this stuff is in our garage. Stuff we used last year like placemats and stuff like that for the table. I'll go get that and we'll start decorating. All right, just to let y'all know, I met my in-laws, not our in-laws, when I was saying my little sentence just now. And so this is the stuff from our garage. A lot of the stuff is from the dollar store. Some is from Bath and Body Works. I'm sorry, I had to include this part. He was holding his head. He, he looks so cute. He's so funny. He's doing the funniest things lately. So this table runner really looked nice with those pumpkins. I'm so glad I ended up just using that one instead of buying one. And these placemats I got at the dollar store last year, I really love them, but as you can see, I was putting them out, and then I'm like, mm-mm, this ain't happening, this is way too extra for me, and it just didn't fit right with the white theme. So I put those away for when we actually eat at the table, and then I got this little garland thingy at, I believe, I got it last year, I believe I got it at the dollar store. I could be wrong about that, y'all. And obviously I put the pumpkin in the middle, and then I put the salt and pepper shakers on the sides. Fun fact, there's no salt and pepper in the salt and pepper shakers, just saying. <laughs> I plan on putting it in there though, but I washed them, so I didn't want to put it in there right away because obviously I don't want the stuff sticking to them. Anywho, sorry about this blurness. Um, this little sign is from the dollar store. I got it last year and I thought I would put it in the dining room. And then this sign, obviously I got today, like I showed you a little bit ago, and I thought I'd put it in the kitchen because it says pumpkin spice and everything nice. So might as well put it in the kitchen, you know, pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. And then this blanket, I really love it. It's super soft and it was only 10 bucks. Like I said, can't go wrong. These teeny pumpkins I got at the dollar store last year and I like them. Dollar store has some pretty cool stuff. And look at this. I am, I love this. I could watch this over and over again. He's so silly. He's helping. I knew this was going to happen too, but you know what? I'm still decorating. I don't care. Let him be a baby. Let him be a kid. And there he goes. He's helping. <laughs> he is so sweet. 
And then this candle I got last year at Bath & Body Works, and I also got that candle stand from Bath & Body Works. My mother-in-law got me that, actually. But the candle I never used last year, so I thought it would be great to use now because obviously it's fall and it'd be, it looked nice and clean for the video. And the two little scarecrow men I got at the dollar store last year and the fake leaves that I mentioned where I got those, I got those at the dollar store last year as well. I really like the hint of the fake leaves. That's just me. If I feel like I'm extra. I'm not really fancy schmancy when it comes to my decorating. I'm not like rustic and I don't know. I see all these other YouTube videos and I'm just like, oh my god, am I different? Yes, I am, but I don't care. Anywho, this is my little trick or treat thingy. I really liked decorating right here and those Reese's did not last long y'all because uh, we're fat asses up in here. And that sign that said trick or treat, my mom just had to point out that it said prickers treat. I can't, ha I cannot handle her. Look how Jeff's sitting. I cannot freaking handle him either. I swear he's so funny. <laughs> he sits like a kid. Okay, sorry, I'm getting behind here. So we ended up tacking this little garland of leaves on here. And I, it, I don't know, I was kind of iffy about it at first, but it grew on me and I actually really like it. So we left it up there, obviously. And then these pumpkins I got at the dollar store last year. I really like them. They're glass, but they're not glass. I don't know, but they're really sturdy for dollar store type. And then some more fake leaves. You already know. Let it throw up fall in my living room. And then I'm putting that family, friends, and football sign outside. Yes, I need to do some yard work. Don't judge me. And then I really love this welcome sign. Easton touches it every single time we leave the house. <laughs> Oh, and then there he is, being being him. I had to include that. He is too much. And then there's this other leaf or garland of leaves that I didn't know what to do with. And I was like, ooh, let's put it in the kitchen because we didn't put very much in the kitchen. And I feel like it needed to be in the kitchen. So I just tacked each side and it's been holding really great. It hasn't been flopping over or anything. So... Yeah, I'm really liking it right there. And we didn't decorate like the bathrooms or anything because I feel like we're mainly in the kitchen and the living room and so are people whenever they come over. And I ended up putting that dollar store towel on the oven. And these pumpkins, we didn't know where to put them. So Jeff was like, oh, let's just put them on the fireplace thingy. So I feel like they looked really good right there. So we ended up keeping them right there. And so that's basically it. If y'all enjoyed this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up and comment down below on anything you may want to see from me in the future. I hope y'all have a good rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next one. not too long ago and I had a little present on my front porch from my cousin's girlfriend and she surprised me she does embroidery and she made something for us for fall but I wasn't expecting the other two things I'm so excited for this so I thought I would put it on this video because I haven't edited it yet a couple things are decor so I thought I would include it on this video near the end or something I don't know we'll see how that goes so she embroidered this Thought that was super cute. She just started embroidering, y'all. The past couple of months, she's been embroider embroidering. Golly, you say that 10 times fast. And she also got us this candle. Hello, pumpkin. And girl, it smells like pumpkin. Well, I guess so. Pumpkin spice. There's your answer. It smells so good. I think I'm going to light it right after I'm done filming. And then she got me this mug. And it says, if you got it, haunt it. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put the embroidery right here in our dining room. Okay, I don't know how to really hang embroidery. Is there some special thing? Because I'm just going to hang it on a nail. Perfect. I like it. So I think I'm gonna put the candle right there and I will light it in a minute. All right, so that's it. I just thought I would pop up and say that. So yeah.